To many music fans across the globe, Tina Turner was simply the best. And for the past five years, those fans have celebrated the Broadway musical Tina, depicting the queen of rock and roll on stage. That show hit the local boards last night and continues through March 10th. And I'm joined now by Ari Gruber and Paris Lewis, who alternate the role of Tina Turner every night. Hey, welcome. Hey, hey. how you doing? Great. Um, I cannot tell by looking at you which one was on stage last night. <laughs> it was me. <laughs> yeah, it was Ari. It's got to be exhausting. Yeah, it, um, it is, but it, it, it's, it's a good kind of tired. You feel, you feel um, like you've defeated Mount Olympus after you've <laughs> done Tina. That's what it feels like. It feels, you know, it's, it's amazing. I mean, to imagine that she was an artist and she performed like that every time on stage is mind boggling. Yeah. So you guys tag team the role basically every other night? Yeah, we alternate every other night. So Ari was on last night. She opened the city and I'll be on tonight. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then we'll just alternate throughout our time here. Um, it must be exhausting. I, I can't imagine she was such an electric performer. Um, does anybody give you a hard time about she did it at 76 and she wasn't doing it every night, right? Right. Mm -hmm. Not really. Not really. I think people are in such awe of of what we're doing mm -hmm. and telling her story as authentically as we can for almost three hours. Um, uh, so we never we never really get any uh, necessarily negative feedback. It's all been love and, and positivity. Yeah. So what you're both very young. What did you know about Tina Turner? Did you grow up listening to her? What was your exposure and how did you approach portraying her? Ooh, I think well, absolutely. We both grew up yeah. hearing and knowing <laughs> in the Tina Turner, right, a staple in both of our households. Um, Ari always talks about her mom playing. Well, you can tell it. Oh, no. I just love it, though. <laughs> uh, River Deep Mountain so, High, right? So she used to be, it was River Deep Mountain High and Higher. Higher was her song, and she used to, she used to have the, the vinyl, um, I get Tina Turner review vinyl in the house. So she would play that all the time, and it was always Higher being played in the house. Um, and because I'm a DJ, it's like I've grown up with her music and, you know, my mom knows her from Ike and Tina Turner Review. And it was like, because I'm a little bit younger, I knew her as private dancer Tina, mm -hmm. you know, Tina, queen of rock and roll Tina. So it's, it's cool to see the generations, um, generational history of, you know, what Tina Turner has done and how she's become this global phenomenon yeah. uh, that she was. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, kind of same. I grew up hearing Tina Turner's music. I had a little bit of a different vantage point. What's love got to do with it is a staple for <laughs> all of us. Yeah. But I also grew up in a really religious home. So to be honest, my dad listened to smooth jazz and my mama listened to gospel. Yeah. And so I found my way through in secular music, honestly, through movies. If it depicted black artists, we were allowed to watch it. And that made me want to explore more. Being a musician myself, my parents were like, yeah, you can figure out who that is. That's Tina Turner. You should hear more of her stuff. <laughs> and so, yeah, it grew from there. So she, she broke many racial and gender barriers in music. Oh, yes, um, what impact do you see her having had just on generations of women, particularly women of color performing and doing the kind of, you know, work that you do yeah oh gosh a major impact and I think it kind of yeah. answers a little bit of what you were asking before about how we prepared for this role um in learning more about Tina's life and just the interworkings of her relationships and mm -hmm. how she got through I think that it inspires all of us to find the fight within ourselves and not always in a domestic um type of way but a fight within ourselves for what we believe in and our own authenticity you know Tina never faltered about who she was and she stood in her her power whether she was in a situation with Ike that wasn't very empowering or when she took back her power. And I think that's so inspiring, even for us as young artists. We find ourselves through this role. We find a lot of our power. Like like Ari said, it's exhausting. And so there are some nights where we're like, whew. Yeah. And then I'm like, but <laughs> Tina was out here. Let's go. Let's go. Let's do it. <laughs> yeah. No, I agree. I, You know, it's one of those things where I think as a woman and as a black woman and a woman of color, um, it is a constant reminder that, you know, she broke all of these gender and racial barriers for sure. But I think also when it comes to ageism, especially in the, the music business and entertainment business, I mean, I'm 32 years old and technically I'm aged out of everything. If, if we were to, you know, look at it as a, a misogynistic viewpoint of what is, you know, um, acceptable. And so the fact that she didn't really blow up the way that she did until her 40s. Mm -hmm. I think it's a reminder to say that, you know, there is no timeline, especially for women or anybody for that matter, 
um, of what you can do and, and what is right for you and, and, you know, whatever you want to obtain and, and, and show the world, you can do it at whatever age. And I think that is also the beauty of Tina, um, that she fought and what she fought, she fought through. And, I mean, has been this amazing artist for decades. Anybody that has worked with Tina talks about how they've worked with Tina for decades mm -hmm. um, because of the type of person she was. And I think that's amazing to, to know and to see. So it, 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 it is definitely in our uh, performance of how we take care of everybody on stage and everybody takes care of us. Well, it shows. I'm, I'm so excited you guys are in town. And thank you so much for swinging by today to tell us about this show. Ari Groover and Paris Lewis, thank you for being here. Thanks for, oh, having, thank us. You for having us.